Hi, in this video session, let's discuss about state reduction. That is, given a state diagram, how to find equivalent states which are duplicates and that states can be removed. Assume that this is a state diagram that we have drawn from the word description of the problem. Now this state we have labeled with A and this state is labeled with B and so on. So therefore we have used alphabets to label each of the state. This is the transition table that we can derive from this transition table. Say for example, this is present state A and we have two input values 0 and 1. So we have next, we have to identify next state upon the input 0 and upon the input 1. So from A, if we get a 0, uh, we go back to the state A. So we have state A here. And what do we output? We output 0. So the output is 0 when the input is 0 from state A. And from state A, if we get a 1, we go to state B and we output 0. So from A, when we get the input 1, we go to B and output 0. Okay. Similarly, we can write for other states too. From B, if we get a 0, we go to C and output 0. So from B upon the input 0, we go to C and output 0. And upon the input 1 from B, we go to state D and output 0. So we go to state D from B when the input is 1 and output 0. Okay. And similarly, we can write all the transitions among the states. So once we have got this, we can inspect these rows and find out the equivalent states. Two states are said to be equivalent if for all inputs they have same transitions and same output. Say for example, consider the state E and G. From E, if we get a 0 as input, we go to state A. This is one transition for the input 0. Similarly, if you transit from G upon the input 0, we go to the state A. And the output is 0 in both the cases. The transition from states E and G upon the input 0 is the same. They transit to state A and output 0. Similarly, when we get a 1 as input, from E we transit to F and output 1. And similarly, from G if we get a 1 as input, we go to state F and output 1. So these two actions are one and the same. So for all the inputs, if behavior of the states are the same, that is their transitions as well as the outputs are the same, then we can claim that those states are equivalent. So in this case, state E and G are equivalent. That means that I can keep any one of them and replace the other with the existing state. So we can find that out very easily using the transition table. We will see that. In the state table, we have to find out which of the two rows are the same. Okay. So we have already found out that this G and E are equivalent because for the input 0 they transit to A in both the cases and for the input 1 they transit to F and the output when the input is 0 is 0 
and the output is 1 when the input is 1. So, <clears throat> we can say this E and G are equivalent. So, we can remove this state G and replace G with E in the place where, where G is occurring. There are no other G's here. So, we can rewrite this table. All other rows are exactly the same as we have here. Except that F. Now, instead of G, it is transiting to E when the input is 0. Now, once again, we will repeat this procedure and find out which of the two rows are exactly the same. We can find that D and F are one and the same. For the input 0, they transit to E and output 0. And for the input 1, they transit to F and output 1. So, I can keep any one of these D or F. So, we will keep this D and remove this F. And wherever F occurs, we will replace that F with D. Okay, so these two things we will replace with D. Now this is our reduced state table. We will repeat this procedure until we find no other equivalent state. Now can we say this E and C are equivalent? Because for the input 0 they transit to a and for the input 1 they transit to D. Okay, but we cannot say C and D, C and E are equivalent because the outputs are different. When the input is 1, although they transit to D, from C, when we transit to D, we are going to output 0 and from E, when we transit to D, upon the input 1, we are going to output 1. Okay, therefore, this C and D are not equivalent. Okay. So, this is the reduced state table. So, we started with 7 states and eliminated 2 equivalent states and we have ended up with 5 states. Why should we do this? Because if we have many states, you know that the state information decides the number of flip-flops that we will need to implement the circuit. If the number of states are more, we will need more hardware to implement. That is why we are reducing the number of states and coming up with minimal number of states required to implement the circuit. This is the state diagram equivalent to the reduced state table which has only 5 states. From A, we go to A for the input 0 and an output 0. So, it is a self loop. Input is 0, output is 0. And from A, we go to B upon the input 1 and output 0. So, from A, we go to B upon the input 1 and output 0. Similarly, we can draw for other states as well. Let us consider one more state. Uh, D and see how we have drawn this in the state diagram. From D, when we get the input 0, we go to E. So, from D, we go to E for the input 0 and what is the output that we have? We have 0. From D, when we get 1, we go to D. So, it is a self loop and we are going to output 1. So, it is input as 1, output as 1. Okay, similarly, we can draw the other state transitions as well.